Hi, I'm Tamara Holder, and this is Sports Court. I'm here in Denver today, and I have a wonderful guest with me, David Bruton from the Denver Broncos, my favorite team, of course. Good, good. But we have you here because you just founded a charity, yes, and yeah. it is to empower uh, youth in inner cities and teaching them how to read, which is an amazing thing. Yes. But the statistics show 26% of all third graders don't know how to read. What do you say about this? Uh, I think it's... I think it's atrocious that we have a, such a staggering number um, of kids who cannot read at a grade level. So that was what the basis and the focus of Bruton Books is all about, is you know, building that childhood literacy and bringing awareness to the fact that we have such a big issue. A lot of our viewers here at Fox, they will say that, that this is a public school system issue. The public school systems are failing our children. And we're seeing this with the numbers. You you have a great charity, but your charity shouldn't have to exist, right? Shouldn't our children know how to read? It, it should be. It should be. But there's a lot of a lot of different dynamics that go into it. You know, with poverty or you know the accessibility and tutors and stuff like that. There's not every school has a chance to be a national blue ribbon school or have you know the funding for the amount of books that are needed for the youth. And then getting up to the high school level, there was a statistic I read that every 26 seconds a student drops out of high school. That's, I think, 7,000 a day. Mm. How, do you, uh, how do you see fixing this? Through literacy or what? Yeah, through literacy. You know, there's a, there's a direct correlation with third grade reading proficiency and high school graduation. And, you know, we figured we attacked the, the issue out of source that there's been studies on, especially here in the Denver public school system, and try to eliminate that and increase the number of graduates instead of people dropping out. What about people who are skeptical of charities, especially athletes' charities? We saw Adrian Peterson's was in the news. Um, the list goes on and on and on. And it's not just football. Mm -hmm. Lance Armstrong, Livestrong, everything. How do you change that image? You know, it's there's a, there's a negative negative view on professional charities, but it's the support staff that you have, there's the people on your board, you know. It's, you know, just overall being an overall good human being. Just being out there in the community, and it's not like I'm just finally being out in the community with right. my own charity. I've been doing it for years, constantly showing my face, constantly going above and beyond, you know, whatever I can do to make a difference in Denver. Well. You're not just going above and beyond. You were a graduate of Notre Dame. During the lockout in 2011, you went and became a substitute school teacher yes. instead of just working out and waiting for the deal to get worked out, right? Yes. So what, what does this charity have for you in the future? What, what do you see? Um, I, I plan to see a difference. You know, the, the end all be all goal is hopefully 100% of graduates, you know, third graders end up graduating, you know, when, when comes time. But, I just want to make a difference. This charity is about making a difference, a, a fundamental difference in the academic world of things instead of, you know, an athletic football camp or something like that. What is the difference in that your your day-to-day, -day, is it involving just raising money or do you go into the schools and read to children? What exactly do you do? It's uh, about raising money. It's also about raising awareness, but also I will go into these schools, you know, potentially read to them or tutor with them. And, do everything that I can and get involved not only just with, you know, my fellow teammates, but also work with AmeriCorps tutors, you know, hand in hand and try to make a difference. Well, I am a fan. I'm not an athlete, but I will go in and read to any student that you want me to. Well, I will bring you <laughs> along with me. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I hope that you all check out David's website, uh, brutonsbooks.org. Yes, ma'am. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. And good luck this season. Thank Broncos you. are my team. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Thank you all for watching. Sports Court is adjourned.